Oh, uh, so can you tell me what you remember from the last time in Knoxville, the, the win that was 41 to nothing. I mean, what was that moment kind of like, just looking back at that? Uh, it was pretty special. Uh, I think on defense, we came out and made a big play within the first couple yeah. plays. And then, I mean, from there, we were just had a big jump on so do you, so do you feel like at all, even though it was two years ago, teams are totally different. Do you feel like that like gives this group confidence going back in there? Or no? uh, we kind of want to look past that. You know, we focus on this year. Okay. Uh, we just got to come out and do what we do best. Okay. And then, um, and then a question kind of away from football. I want to ask you about your high school uh, days for her cousin. Danny. Uh, he was uh, just a special person to me, uh, kind of like a father figure, a great coach. He was just so positive and I respect everything about him and I love him. Do you have a, do you have a favorite memory with him or something? Uh, just seeing him every day in high school, you know, yeah. he just, he was just great. Uh, he always came to me with, with a joke, and I always remember stuff like that. Um, there are not many of you fifth-year guys here, but I guess the fifth-year guys are two and two against Tennessee, so how nice would it be to end with a winning record? Uh, it, it, it'll be great. I mean, that's the plan. You know, it'll just be something special. They've obviously got the unique factor of, of Jim Cheney, you know, going from there to here. But what kind of factor do you think that'll be this week? Uh, we kind of prepared on, D, on defense. We know uh, Coach Cheney will probably come out and show us a lot of our balance stuff. You know, try to uh, mess with our defense a little bit, just because I know he'll try to mess with us a little bit. But we just going to stick, stick with what we know. Yeah, Tay, you've always been a big and fast guy. Uh, but it appears like you're making a lot more plays this year. How much does that has to do with physical maturation? How much have it has to do with just uh, kind of recognizing what offenses are trying to do and kind of understanding your role as well? Uh, I just got to thank the coaches for, like, you know, helping us on uh, scout teams, just giving us a great look because what you do in practice, you see a lot of it in the game. And it, it, it pays off. Film room type of stuff? Yeah, film room, all, type, all that stuff. How much responsibilities on your shoulders when players are called in on defense? I mean, what's what's your duties? I guess on, on every place. Uh, everybody want to just stay disciplined. It's cute. You know, everybody got their own job to do. So this is kind of what we want to do. You know, make sure everybody does it. I don't know if you were signaling, directing people around with those sorts of things. What all? What all? Oh, yeah, I mean, just trying to keep everybody on the same page. Tim, that was a pretty emotional game for everybody last week at, in San Francisco against Notre Dame. With the bye week coming right, right after that, how do you guys kind of continue that momentum? Or was the bye week exactly what you guys needed just to kind of exhale a little bit? I mean, we needed that uh, bye week just to focus on ourselves. It was like a work week for us. We just came out and uh, focused on us, you know, competed a good bit, and just stick with what we knew. You guys pitched a shutout last time in Neyland Stadium. Do you guys talk about that to kind of extend that streak? And then how do you guys just carry that momentum into Neyland also? Uh, it was a great win for us last, last time we went there, but uh, we just focused on this year. This in the past. What do you remember about that stadium itself? It's 104,000 people kind of built straight up, just the environment that that thing created last time. Uh, it's a great environment to play in. Uh, you know, been in big games, a big stadium, so I mean, it's just another game. Does it seem like you've had a little bit of everything against UT? The, the 41 to nothing win on the good side, the Hail Mary on the bad side? It seems like y'all have been through your share that you guys have been here a while. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, uh, definitely a competitive game. Is there is there any discussion? I mean, obviously the record is what it is. They're in a rebuilding process with still somewhat new coach. Is there any discussion within the locker room or in the meeting rooms about you can't take these guys lightly? Is that any point of discussion? Uh, we treat everybody the same. Uh, we don't, however their record looks or whatever, we don't really look, pay attention to stuff like that. We just want to come and uh, play everybody the same. That's cute. And obviously that's helped with the SEC East because y'all have had a whole bunch of success against the East. What do you kind of attribute that to, the fact that y'all have been able to have so much success these last two plus seasons against the East teams? Uh, we just, like I said, we come out and play our game. You know, we want to focus on us. It's not about who we play. Come out every week and just focus on us play our game. They've had some issues with turnovers. How do you go about trying to you know, keep the turnover going for them and having them keep turning the ball over? Uh, like I 
like I said, just come out, come out to practice and uh, challenge our offense mm -hmm. with the ball, try to get it off as much as we can so that we prepare, pre be prepared in the game. Do you all do like turnover circuits? I think Kirby used that word before. Like, what, what does that entail? Oh yeah, uh, just helping us, helping the offense, just keep the ball, keep the ball high. Mm -hmm. With the Missouri game last year, you had an interception. I think it was. Was that your first uh, time you had a you know turnover or whatever? Yeah, it was my first. Yeah, what was that? What was that moment like? I guess too. Uh, it was just a uh, <laughs> great moment. One of my, uh, just one of the plays I, I definitely remember. And it was just, it was just special. It was one of my first picks. I was excited about that. Where's your comfort level right now after making the change a while ago from offense to defense and knowing the checks and all the adjustments before snap? Uh, I definitely feel better than I used to in the position I was in my practice reviews, watching film, stuff like that. Uh, I never want to get comfortable with some relaxed stuff because you can always go back to how you work. You want to keep practicing what you want. Who's making the most checks, you or Monty? Or well? uh, whoever out there, we all try to make it the most reasonable on the field. Kirby said last week you get work guys around, look at some stuff that the SEC leaders had a great day to see. How you get that. What were some of those things you looked at? How, how do you feel about your ability to create that balance compared to the last year? I feel like we're not where we're at. at. No, we're not where we're at. Uh, from a defense standpoint, from, uh, getting all the turnovers that we need. But we're definitely working on that practice, so you know, challenging the offense. We keep, we got to keep working. Out. What'd you do during the bye week? It was work week. We were practicing, we were competing. Uh, How about last weekend? Uh, Did you chill? Did you go home? Oh, uh, I just stayed up there. They've used two quarterbacks. Can you tell a difference in Aaron Tano and, and Maurer when you study them on tape? Uh, they're, they're, they're both uh, two great quarterbacks. And, uh, they definitely both have played in, in, in all the games they've played. And, uh, we just watched uh, film on both. Can you tell if one runs more than the other or anything like that? We think number 18 runs more than the other. So, uh, you never know. Right. Hey, how much do you worry about your banged up cornerbacks given that they got some experienced uh, guys are at wide out in terms of that matchup? Uh, I think they'll be good. You know, it's not about what they do. It's all about what we do. So I feel like we'll be fine. Even though they're coming off some injuries? Yeah, definitely. Okay. How is this year's defense different from last year's? I feel like we're just uh, more of a family. You know, we, do, we do a lot of things uh, together this year. And I feel like everybody's buying into what we're doing. Yeah, I'll be using